Yo, what's happening guys? King GBL here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be showcasing Shadow Whiskash in some Open Great League practice battles. Shadow Whiskash just got released into Team Rocket Grunts, and this Pokemon has got quite a buff now, with all of the extra Mudshot damage, Mud Bombs, and of course Blizzards will pretty much one-shot a lot of things. We're going to check out Whiskash in the Great League today, and see if this Pokemon is worth building, and really what I want to see here is how this is going to compete against the Open Great League meta. Last season we had Carbing released into the game, and by the time Great League comes back, we're going to have Clodsire, which is a Poison Ground type. So I think Shadow Whiskash could be quite decent in the Great League, and it's going to be one of the hardest answers to Clodsire. This team I'm running, it's just a bit of a meme team, guys. I don't necessarily think I'd run this in the Great League, unless I was running it for fun. Uh, Whiskash in the lead, Lickitung in the swap, and Charizard in the back. Whiskash, generally speaking, is quite weak to... It's actually weak to Swampert, so this team is ABA weak to Swampert already. Um, so like I said, it's just practice battles, just kind of messing around. I wanted to use some uh, Charizard in the back, because it is very fun to sweep with. But I think in the Open Great League, you'd be ABA weak to Swampert. And of course, Carbink would be a little bit of a tricky uh, customer for this team. Really quickly, before we hop into it, thank you guys for free K subs. We're actually 10 off, but I think by the time this video goes out, we'll probably hit free K. So big thank you. I've only been uploading here for about 8 months, and the support has been incredible. Big shout out to everybody who watches, enjoys the videos, and let's hop into the battles. Uh, so we're shielding up this Dragonair here, and basically what I'm looking to do is mud shot it down. And as you can see, we actually can mud shot it down, which you weren't really ever able to do with a normal Whiskash. Now, this is a more attacked weighted Whiskash, so um, that may have some sort of uh, thing to do with it. And I did notice that this Whiskash is definitely a lot glassier. Again, I think if you're running good IVs, you probably take a lot less damage. But of course, I just basically built the first one I got, which was pretty lucky. I think it's a 6 12 12. Nothing too amazing, but nothing too terrible. It's definitely usable. But the really cool thing about this match is we've much shot the Azumarill down into Blast Burn range. Um, the opponent actually froze off a uh, player off. They were saying that they actually did have Ice Beam. Um, I don't like to sort of be dishonest with practice battles. I tell people to usually run whatever they want. I did get somebody to run a Steelix later on because I kind of wanted to see what that matchup looks like. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a heads up. You know, I'd rather be honest about it. I don't necessarily like doing practice battle videos, but of course, uh, just to showcase a new Pokemon whenever the Great League isn't out, I think it's probably fine. Um, in comes Blastoise. Um, this is Jai here. He's just got, uh, I believe, Frustration teamed off this, so um, he's having a little bit of fun with Shadow Blastoise. That absolutely chunks. The Mud Bomb just ripped through that thing. And in comes Mandibuzz here. I'm pretty sure you're going to see me throwing bad timing here, because I always struggle on the swap, to be completely honest with you. Um, I've seen a Snarl coming through. But this Hurricane lands for heavy damage, and we really do need to get rid of Mandy. If you look up some of the worst matchups for uh, Whiskash, Mandibuzz is definitely one of them. Um, we're going to overfarm a little bit here, shield up once. And I still don't think this is quite a Muller Ball range. So I think just to be safe here, we're going to yellow off the Hurricane. We'll throw in good timing this time. And uh, hopefully they let it go and we can look to realign with Whiskash. Also guys, in this video, you're going to see me playing a little bit incorrectly. Just for the sake of testing things out with Whiskash. Like I was letting some moves go just to see how much they would do. And I was staying in with Whiskash to see what I could do with it. Um, so today's video, it's not really, of course, about, oh, look at me, I won so many battles against my subs with, um, Whiskash, it's more, what can this Pokemon actually do? Um, so Gligar coming through, we're going for the Aerial Ace, the Blastoise shields it, and this is looking kind of rough, um, because Whiskash, you're about to see here, it doesn't really enjoy these single turn moves too much, especially from a Shadow Blastoise, um, so Hydro Cannon coming through, he put it over farms an absolute ton, no opportunity for a catch here. I think my only win con here is really to farm it down, but that Hydro Cannon just completely tore through me, so... Good games to Jai, Pelipper is going to get uh, pissed on down here as well, and that's a good game. So to give you guys my honest thoughts about Whiskash, I think it's going to be more of a limited meta Pokemon. Really fantastic lead here, um, Charge a Bug. And you're going to see here the difference in the bulk with Shadow Whiskash and Normal Whiskash. The only neutral move they can throw is x Scissor, and you're going to see here in a second, it actually gets us down to roughly 50%. I go for an Overfarm, assuming that I lose CMP. I'm not wanting to give a full free uh, Volt Switch, but that does a lot of damage actually. I do Insta Throw this time, and in comes Clefable. Now guys, I was desperate to Blizzard something, so I stand here to overfarm. You should just swap out uh, to Charizard, but I'm just trying to mud bomb something and trying to Blizzard something in the back. That's pretty much what my goal is <laughs> during these uh, practice battles. I lost some battles, um, one in particular where I was trying to commit to uh, a Blizzard, even though a mud bomb would have KO'd. So um, you're going to see me doing that a few times. In comes Sand Slash, and this actually could be finally a chance for this Pokemon to shine. I do decide to go for a Risky Bait here, because I think they can actually Shadow Claw my, my Whiskash down. That's kind of the problem here. Uh, we go for another move here. Basically just to make it that Body Slams are threatening from Lickitung. And then we'll hope to come in and Mud Bomb it with the US Cash. We did store some energy. The opponent's on 9. I'm not sure if they're going to instant throw here. And um, we're going to fire this move off straight away. And then probably look to swap out. Um, it'll be 5 forward for the Mud Bomb. So we should definitely outpace. We come in with Licky. They come back in with their Charger Bug. I knew that they had some energy here. So I wanted to sort of get in. Get out. Try to <laughs> sweep with the... Um, the Whiskash here, like I said, we're playing it specifically so that we can uh, sweep with this Pokemon. 
but no, genuinely speaking, I think it's very, very good against Carbanks, very good against Steelix as well. It could be very interesting with Water Gun. We recently had the Sunshine Cop, so I feel like Whiskash with Water Gun and that Sunshine Cop could have been really good. So I really just imagine this Pokemon being a very good limited meta Pokemon. Um, I'm not convinced it's better than Quagsire or Swampert, but it definitely has a unique role. Definitely a little bit bulkier. Um, you're seeing here, again, I've definitely got some, like, lost bulk points here with this uh, build. Um, we did get off the Mud Bomb, and I think Jai is just uh, tapping out here to say GG. So hopping on into the next battle here, folks, we've got a Dugong lead, and I actually really wanted to test this out. You guys know Dugong. You know, he's a classic, goes for debuffs, right? I wanted to see how much a full strength Mud Bomb actually does to Dugong. I was honestly surprised at the damage output of this Pokemon that got it quite decently low. We've got it down to about 50%. What I want to do here is eat the uh, Icy Wind and swap into Leki. I don't want to get my middle Pokemon debuffed. In comes Medi. You guys have seen this match a few times. And most likely, I think I actually thrown good timing there. One turn moves are a little bit tricky on the swap as well sometimes, but um, it's a 50-50, you know. I seem to lose the 50-50 um, like 75% of the time whenever it comes to one turn moves. It definitely can be the difference, especially in a matchup like this. We're going to go for another Body Slam that will get the Metacham very, very low. So they're going to have to basically shield up if they want to take Switch, and we do lick it down. Crazy that a normal type is taking Switch against Medi here, but um, this is not about this. And we actually even managed to get off a Body Slam as well. Licky to Ficky. Let me know, guys, are you enjoying the current Great League meta with uh, the likes of Lickitung? Now, I do have some energy stored on this. I should have just went for the CMP, but I guess I want to go for an Overfarm here. I see one coming straight through. We're going to overfarm a little bit here. Yeah, and maybe look to throw in CMP in the next move. So this should just about KO the Dugong, of course, even though we're debuffed. They actually shield it, and I swap into Charizard. Uh, that was not CMP, it must have been just good timing. Um, They're going to throw an Icy Wind. And again, I don't think I would do this in a real match. I would just force them to throw on Whiskash. But in comes Galissapod. We're going to YOLO off the Blast Burn here. Hopefully they let it go. But unfortunately for me, they do call it. And at this point, um, I realize that they're up to back-to-back -back moves. So I'm going to shield once. I need to get a chip on this because all of the moves are resisted here. We do manage to get off a CMP move uh, with Dragon Claw. I was not getting to the next uh, Blast Burn. They're going to go for another Aerialis. And we're going to see here how much a resisted Mud Bomb is going to do against Galissapod. And if we're still able to take this match up here. I go for a one and throw. It's probably unnecessary. I think their other Pokemon's quite low. Mud Bomb coming through. How much will this do? Will this KO even the resisted? That definitely was not KOing before. Back in comes Dugong again. And we do get to another move. Um, I wasn't quite sure if they were getting to a move here. So I did want to go for a slight over farm. Um, good games well played, guys. That's really the main difference with Whiskash. It was never really able to do that. Um, I've heard actually Junk is talking about this Pokemon. You always have Pokemon in such low health. I think that's just the main difference with this Pokemon now. It's a little bit bulkier than Quagsire, bulkier than Swampert, but it actually hits decently hard now, and you can finish your dinner with this Pokemon a little bit. Whist Daddy Cash is finally quite good. We're going to go for a catch on the Power Whip. Unfortunately, not able to do so, and the opponent's staying in to chip the Licky, which is absolutely perfect. We've got a bit of an energy lead with a Whiskash, which is what we want here in this video. And in comes Gligar. Generally speaking, this is quite a good matchup for Lickitung. Um, these licks just add up so much. And of course, bodies are super spammy, um, super tanky. You can eat a bunch of damage. And again, another new Pokemon that's came into the Great League meta. Whiskash, not really going to have the best time unless it's in the zeros. Um, if it just so happens to be zero to zero. Um, you'll probably see a dig going through later. It does a lot of damage, actually. But yeah, that's the only way you can beat this. But... I would assume a Blizzard would have KO'd a Gligar anyway, so probably not much of a difference to before. And what I decided to do here is go for the Body Slam, the opponent will get to another move here. And what I really want to do here is go for a Resisted Farm Down. The Gligar does still have some energy, so we're going to see how much damage this does to the uh, Whiskash. But I want to go for a Resisted Mud Shot Down, as to not show my Charizard. We're going to see how much a Dig does here. I was actually kind of surprised by this, I didn't think it would do quite that much to be honest with you. But we do get a nasty farm down, we'll see what the opponent comes back in with. We're up a shield, I decide to swap straight out and bank the blizzard because I'm like bro, I want to blizzard something. Just let me blizzard something. Uh, in comes Licky. I think I decide to double shield this here. I probably shouldn't have because, you know, that would have maybe given me a better chance to get off a blizzard. But um, we're going to shield this, go for the sweep and like to see what they have in the back. Um, body slam coming through. We're going to go for an over farm here as much as I can. And um, we do end up CMPing here on the blast burn. And this will probably get the shield off the opponent, but in this case, I guess they know we have a ton of energy on Whiskash, and in comes Superior. So they decide to keep the shield for Superior, which makes perfect sense. The opponent knows we have a Blizzard Bang, so they do decide to let the uh, Blast Burn go, and Charizard sweeps. So actually, like this team, I think it could be a lot of fun, but I think the Great League meta currently is just a little bit rough for this team. Especially with, like I said, you know, an ABI weakness to um, Swampert, which has been a little bit more popular these days. Swampert being a Pokemon that can also beat Claude Sire, which is coming. Um, you will see that quite a lot, so I think Charizard is just an absolute shambles right now. It probably loses to Claude Sire itself, loses to Carbink, and it's going to be losing to a lot of Pokemon hunting for it, like Swampert. We're going to have Aquatail on Quagsire quite soon, which will not be very favourable for Charizard either, so it's just like a rough our boys are out here. 
Now, I stay in here to go for a blizzard on this. I probably should just go into Licky or something. Um, of course, I'm not going to go into Charizard, but look how much damage that done to a relatively bulky Pokemon in Dunsparce. We do even get off another Mud Bomb, and of course, this will look to KO. I think the opponent does want to farm down the uh, Whiskash and with the Mandy, and yeah, this is looking a little bit rough. I probably should have banked this and swapped out, but I think what we'll look to do here is just get a little bit of a chip on it and come in with probably Licky. They're absolutely loaded in energy, and we come in with actually Charizard to go for a move straight away. Uh, we do go for a move. I think here I should have just went for the Dragon Claw because they're most likely going to shield to preserve their energy. Um, so probably not the greatest play, but I think I'll just get that off and like to swap out into Lickitung. <laughs> I'm going to go for a very, very audacious lick down, but I think after a while I realize, yeah, this is just not going to happen against Mandibuzz. And I do eventually throw the uh, Body Slam, but the thing is here we're getting an absolute ton of farm. And the opponent hasn't swapped out yet, so it is starting to make me think they must be quite weak to Lickitung in the back. They may not have a direct answer to this. So we build up to uh, over two body slams. And we're going to look to fire off the uh, first one here. We'll see what the opponent comes in with. Hopefully we can sweep this with Charizard. It's actually a stun fisk. So basically all the opponent has to do here is go for a massive over farm. And look to basically one for the Licky, one for the Charizard. These power whips just don't do enough unfortunately. And this is basically going to be game over. They're going to look to basically um, farm up to maximum energy. Rock slide this and then double rock slide the Charizard. So that's going to be good games well played. Hopping into the final match, guys, a uh, big shout out to Hugo, who just hit Legend today, and who is running a Steelix for me. We kind of wanted to see what this damage would be like. And in comes Cresselia. We're going to stay in for a second, go for a nice over farm, and come in with Charizard. Of course, if you guys are Ultra League fans, you know that this is a, a super dominant matchup for Charizard. It's actually not quite as good in the Great League, because Charizard is a little bit glassier. We're going to go for an over farm and go for a Blast Burn. And um, we're still going to need two moves to KO this Pokemon. I think a Blast Burn and a Claw in the Great League probably just about does it. I'm not too familiar with this matchup because, of course, Cresselia hasn't really been the most popular Pokemon until quite recently. And Charizard has definitely seen its uh, better days in the meta. You don't really see it too often anymore with, like I said, the Carbinks. And even the Steelixes and stuff are quite rough for it. The opponent's fighting for Switch here, of course, they don't want with Steady Cash on the, the Steelix here. And um, we're going to get off another Dragon Claw, which, of course, will guarantee the KO. And probably put us in the perfect farm down range for something here. In comes Venusaur, they're going to farm down the Charizard with the Venusaur, and this is looking very tricky. Um, we can have a Frenzy on Nicky, but they are ahead, so they definitely can get off two moves here for the one time. And like to put uh, a lot of pressure on with Daddy Cash. We're going to let the first move go, and pretty much just hope and pray that we don't get a Body Slam caught here. We're over farming and over farming. We do not get the catch, which is quite nice, and uh, this will put the Venusaur very, very low. Now at this point, the opponent does uh, swap out with energy. I don't throw my Body Slam onto the Steelix, and we're going to go straight for the Mud Bomb. Now, the classic Steelix play here, shield up the first one, go for the debuff, and that's exactly what we're going to see here. I did play Hugo twice, and he actually earthquaked my West Cash earlier, um, which I wasn't quite expecting. Um, Mud Bomb number two coming through. Now, bearing in mind, this is debuffed, and this is quite a bulky Steelix. That does over half, which is very, very good to see. We're going to go straight for this next move, and the Venusaur is quite low, so I'm thinking here at this point, we basically just want to uh, get a few more shots through. I think at this point, we should be able to shield once and farm down. I could have went for the Body Slam here, but I just assumed, you know, they probably won't get to two Frenzies, but as it turns out, the Lick that's going through here KOs, and they died with another Frenzy plan, so good games to Hugo, and once again, man, uh, congrats for hitting Legend. Guys, thank you very much for watching, this is Shadow Whiskash in the Great League. Uh, sorry I wasn't able to showcase, like, an absolute ton of gameplay, would have loved to have done, like, a 25-30 minute video, but the Great League will be back quite soon, so we should be able to do so then. Thank you very much, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your day, thank you very much for 3k subs, and I'll catch you all next time.